The iPhone is one of the most popular and innovative smartphones on the market, but also the most controversial when it comes to cables and charging ports. Let's see their evolution. From the first iPhone in 2007 to the iPhone 4S in 2012, Apple used a unique and specific connector called a dock connector. It used a cable with a 30-pin connector, which was compatible with most Apple accessories at the time such as the iPod or iPad. The USB end of the cable was a standard USB-A connector compatible with most USB ports at the time that used the USB 2.0 standard. Thus, it offered a maximum data transfer speed of 480 Mbps and the maximum power of 12 watts. This cable was quite robust and was heavy and could not be inserted in any position. In 2012, Apple introduced a new type of cable and port with the release of the iPhone, called Lightning. It had an 8-pin connector, so much smaller and lighter than the previous one, and was reversible. The Lightning port is compatible with the USB 2.0 standard for data transfer and battery charging, but not with USB 3 standard. In 2020, Apple released the iPhone 12, which brought a new wireless charging system called the MagSafe. This system uses a circular magnet that attaches to the back of the device and allows fast and safe charging of the battery. However, the iPhone 12 also retains the Lightning port for cable charging or connecting to other devices. Apple began using USB-C instead of Lightning for some iPad Pro, iPad Air, iPad and Siri remote models from 2018 to 2020. In October 2022, the European Parliament passed a legislation requiring that new mobile devices sold in the European Union to accept USB-C as a common charging standard by the end of 2024. Apple complied and finally launched the iPhone 15 with the USB-C port. All new iPhones have a USB-C connector. USB-C has a symmetrical design with 24 pins and is much faster than Lightning. Even though Apple has switched to the USB-C, the new USB-C port on the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus is limited to USB 2 speeds, that is 0.48 gigabits per second, exactly the same maximum transfer speed offered by Lightning. Only that the iPhone Pro versions have USB-C 3.0 and can reach speeds of 10 Gbps and that is 20 times faster than a USB 2. In conclusion, the evolution of the iPhone cables and charging ports reflects Apple's vision to create simple, elegant and high-performance products, but also it has tendency to impose its own standards and solutions at the expense of the universal ones. This can be appreciated or criticized by users depending on their preferences and needs. What do you think?